So in this problem, we're told it is observed that 55.50 milliliters of water at 20 degrees Celsius completely fills a container to the brim. When the container and the water are heated to 60 degrees Celsius, 0.35 grams of water is lost. A, what is the coefficient of volume expansion of the container? And B, what is the most likely material of the container? Density of water at 60 degrees Celsius is 0.9324 grams per milliliter. So in this problem, we're given a bunch of information, uh, but first let's understand what's going on. So we have basically two points in the container. So initially, we know the container is full of water to the brim. So it's all full of water. And then this is at 20 degrees Celsius, okay? And we know we're gonna heat it to 60 degrees Celsius. And then at 60 degrees Celsius, it's gonna be full to the brim, but there's gonna be 0.35 grams, uh, right? The volume of water lost, okay? So 0.35 grams, that's the mass of the water lost, right? So we can call it M lost. So the mass of the water lost, right? It's gonna fall out since it expands here, right? When you heat it up, these are gonna expand, which is gonna cause the water to go out. And we know we have 0.35 grams of water that does uh, fall out of our cup here. And so what we're trying to find is the coefficient of volume expansion of the container. So uh, what they're talking about is this value here, beta, which is in this formula where the change in volume is equal to the coefficient of volume expansion beta, multiplied by the initial volume times the change in temperature. So if we can figure out what the change in volume is uh, and all this stuff, we'll be able to solve for beta. So keep in mind that's what we're solving for. We can call it uh, beta of the container. And so uh, let's talk about how we're gonna do this now. So in order to solve this problem, okay, we're gonna use the idea that the volume lost, okay, is equal to the change in volume of the water minus the change in volume of the container. So hopefully this makes sense. So we know the water is going to expand more than the volume of the container, right? So the water is going to expand uh, more than this, which means if it expands more, and since it was already full, uh, water is going to spill out. And so we know the difference in this volume, right? Because we're assuming they're equal in the beginning, right? They're equal in the beginning. The change in it is equal to the volume lost, okay? So this tells us the volume lost is equal to, uh, and then we're just gonna rewrite these formulas uh, for their expansion formulas right here. So this would be the beta of water multiplied by the initial volume of the water multiplied by delta T minus B of the container, and this is what we're solving for here, times the initial volume times delta T. So we can find every variable in here. Uh, except for this beta for the coefficient, right? The volume coefficient of expansion for the container here, uh, we can actually solve. So the first thing we're going to start off is by uh, solving for the volume lost uh, of the water. So they give us the mass, right? We're given the mass of it, but we're also given the density. So we're given the density of water here at 60 uh, degrees, or yeah, 60 degrees Celsius, right? And that's what it is after it heats up. So that's why we're using that one. They tell us it's 0.98324 grams per milliliter. And so we know this information. Uh, if we know the mass, right, we want to find the volume here. So you would just multiply both sides by V. So V equals M over rho, or your density. So it's going to be equal to 0.35 all over 0.98324. Because notice we have grams here uh, and grams per liter on the bottom or per milliliter, so it'll cancel. Uh, so let's see what this is here. So 0.35 divided by 0.98324. So you're going to get 0.356 milliliters. Uh, keep in mind this milliliters of water. So your volume lost right there, 0.356 milliliters. So uh, we know that, and we know the uh, beta cof or this value beta for water, right? Uh, we know that value, you can look it up in your textbook. So the coefficient of volume expansion for water is equal to, let me just write it out. It equals 210 times 10 to the minus six. Uh, and this is inverse degrees Celsius. Uh, we know the initial volume of the water 
right? They should tell us that. Let me look. So we're told it's 55 milliliters. So V0 equals 55 milliliters. Um, yeah, so we know that. We know the change in temperature, uh, and it's just going to be a matter of solving. So notice that the volume of the cup and the change in temperature are going to be the same for both of them. So what we're going to do is just factor it out. So sorry about that. So we have V lost is equal to V0 delta T multiplied by B water minus B of the container. Okay. So we can divide both sides by V0 delta T. Uh, and then you would just V0 delta T. Uh, so we have B water, or sorry, we have, oh yeah, B water minus B of the container equals V lost over V0 delta T. So uh, what I'm going to do is move the, uh, right, this beta value for the container to the other side and then minus this to this side. So what we're looking for is B container, right? That's the coefficient or sorry. That is the uh, volume of uh, the coefficient of volume expansion, right, for the container, uh, and that's what we're looking for here. So uh, we're just going to, right, we're going to have B of water minus V lost over V zero delta T. So sorry about that. That took a little bit, but all we did here was take this equation and solve for uh, the B of the container, right, the beta of the container. Uh, so we could uh, get our answer. So we know the beta for water, as I said before, is 2, 10 times 10 to the minus 6 minus. Um, so the volume of our initial is point, where is it? Point, or 55 milliliters. We know the volume lost is 0.356 milliliters. Uh, and then multiplying by the change in temperature, well, notice we've got, uh, we need it in degrees Celsius since this is in degrees Celsius. So I know uh, we start at 20 and we go to 60, so the change is 40 degrees Celsius. So hopefully that makes sense. So let's plug this in and see what we get. So 0.356 divided by 55 times 40 times 210 times 10 to the minus 6. Cool. So... When you do this, what you're going to get is a value. You're going to get 4.96 times 10 to the minus 5. Uh, since we're dealing with, uh, right, keep in mind this unit was inverse degree Celsius, so this is what this one's also going to be. So your answer for A, when they're looking for the coefficient of volume expansion uh, for our container is right here. Keep in mind this is degree Celsius. And uh, yeah, so this right here is going to be uh, your answer. So you can also write it after. Oh, sorry about that. So 4.96 times 10 to the minus 5. Uh, you can round to 5 if you'd like or however you want to do. Uh, it's your choice. Um, and yeah, so this would be your answer to A. Now for B, they're wanting us to determine the material uh, of this, right? So they say, uh, let me read it. What is the most likely material of the container? Uh, the way you would determine this is looking at the coefficient of volume expansions for all the materials in our book here. And to me, uh, I see that, um, right, just looking at them, it should be pretty obvious which one it is. It looks like it's going to be copper. So you can see that copper in the book is 50 times 10 to the minus 6, right, which is the same thing as 5 times 10 to the minus 5. So since they're the same, we can assume that this is copper just based on its coefficient of volume expansion. So uh, your answer here is going to be copper, and I know that because in the book, it's basically the same value. Uh, but yeah, so these are going to be your answers. Just a quick rundown of how we did this. So we knew that the volume lost equals the change in volume of the water minus the volume of the container. Right, and we know that happens is because the water is going to expand more than the, uh, than the container. So if they're both the same volume, obviously there's going to be a greater volume of water that's going to leave the cup. And then it was just a matter of using this formula, solving for the values, and then just plugging it in. So pretty simple problem here. And uh, yeah, 
Hopefully you found this video useful.